In today's show, we have a story about the counselor's furniture. And a few Halloween questions. I'm Alfred. And I'm Caitlin, and you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform. Finding character. And giving others a voice. This is SVTV. The Career and Life Planners Planning Center recently received their furniture. Here's a story to learn more about it. The Career and Life Planning Center recently got new furniture. We talked to a couple counselors and got their opinions on it. I am so excited. We've been waiting since the week before school started for furniture. And me being new to the school, I haven't br been able to bring any of my stuff, so I'm really excited. We found out what all new furniture they got. We each got tables at, or two-part desks. Mr. Alexander's actually rises, uh, which is pretty cool. I might have asked for that if I'd known to. A couple of file drawers, a, a dry erase board, and a cork board, too. And the best part is the shelves behind us. <laughs> we also found out how the Career and Life Planning Center got the new furniture. It was all part of the money that was designated to be spent on this new career life planning uh, part of the building. Uh, and it brings a lot of unity and puts a lot of people here together that can really make a difference for the future of students here. And it makes this office space really come to life. With all the new furniture the counselors received, they all are still waiting on more to arrive. Look like they're enjoying the new furniture. Yes, it does. Now into our announcements. Tomorrow's the last day you can bring candor box foods to your CLP. The winning seminar will be rewarded with an ice cream party. Juniors, there's an ACT work key survey on your Class of 2021 Schoology page. Please complete this by Friday. Shawnee North Community Center will be sponsoring Tales on the Trail November 2nd. If you're interested in volunteering, you need to arrive by 7.45 a.m. If you have any questions, email Kimberly Atchison. The Shawnee County Sheriff's Office is looking to hire dispatch. If you are interested in learning more, please see Ms. Noble in the Career and Life Planning Center. If you like drawing, join the Seaman Art Club Monthly Life Drawing Night on Tuesday, November 5th in room 901 from 6 to 7.30. Mr. Alexander has been nominated as Life Changer of the Year. You can leave a comment on his page and show the selection committee how deserving Ms. Alexander is of this award. Now over to sports. chest for? This chest is for trick-or-treat so kids can eat. You can donate your food that is non-perishable. The cow with the most donations by the end of the month gets an ice cream party. Sponsored by International Thespian Society. I gotta think of a project for my entrepreneurship I class. I know! We'll sell products and we'll call it Market Day! Scoops Ahoy is selling ice cream sandwiches and hot choco latte. If ice cream is what you need, CJ's does that. Brownies and ice cream, hometown sweet specialty. Feeling hungry for a nuggie? Check out Broke Boys. Ice cream and cinnamon, an absolute classic. Brought to you by JP12. Market day is November 5th and 6th during your cow period. Make sure to bring money. And when we sell these products, we'll make it rain money. Halloween is the theme for Thursday's football game against Aletha West. No masks will be allowed. Wellness night tonight has been canceled due to potential weather. Anyone who has not signed up but is interested in wrestling this season, see Coach Kelly in C3 by the end of CALP on Friday. There will be a boys swim informational meeting tomorrow during CALP in room 911. If you have any pictures from fall sports and want a chance for them to be on SVTV, send them to us on Instagram at TV. Let's see if we're still going to get snow today. Now over to Josh.
Good afternoon. We are tracking winter in October. You may have ran into a few ice pellets or snowflakes this morning, but the real story today is the cold. Our average high 63s. We will fall nearly 30 degrees short of that with a high of 36. Yes, this is October 30th and we're talking about highs below where they should be during the coldest time of the year. And take a look at these wind chills, a north wind making it feel even worse after school in the upper 20s. And then tomorrow morning, we're tracking wind chills near 20 degrees by far and away the coldest morning so far this year. So make sure you bundle up. So again, the big story today is the cold, but we are also tracking the snow. So by 3 p.m., there is a slight chance of some light snow or flurries. The better chance arrives as the storm gets more organized towards the evening hours, but we're going to be on the western edge of the precipitation. So here's five o'clock. You can see some flurries starting to develop in central portions of the state and watch how this transforms here by seven. There could be some snow in eastern Kansas. Notice though, the heavier snow stays closer to Kansas City to our southeast by nine o'clock. And then it's out of here as we head closer to midnight. Now, here's what I've done with our snowfall forecast. We've kept the percentages the same, but we've adjusted the amounts here. So a 70% chance of a tenth of an inch of snow. That is what's considered measurable. Then for three tenths of an inch, a 50% chance, and there's still about a 30% chance that we could get a half inch or more of snow. So not a heavy snowfall event by any means, but this is still impressive for October by Kansas standards. Here comes the cold with a slight chance of snow today. More sunshine for tomorrow. Highs in the low 40s with less snow cover than originally anticipated. So the football game is going to be cold, but not quite as cold as you're once thinking. Sunshine continues to start the weekend with highs gradually warming up to close to normal with highs in the upper 50s by Monday. Now, back to your anchors. Hey Alfred, Halloween is tomorrow. Do you know much about the holiday? No, but I do know that Haley and Killian went out and uh, tested some other students' knowledge. The United States, <laughs> Alabama, <Africa>. Russia. <laughs> Dragon. A vampire. God. A witch. Uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Something with sucking blood. Tomatoes. <laughs> Squash. Gourds. Tuesday. Sunday. October 31st. I was at 13. October 31st. A Saturday. <laughs> October 31st. Yeah, yeah. It's always on that, I think. Vegetable. Fruit. Vegetable. Fruit. Uh, I think it's a fruit because it has seeds. Fruit. It's a gourd, so it's a... It's probably... A fruit. I'd say both because it's got seeds, I know. but it's a vegetable because it grows from the ground. Orange, yellow. Blue. Green. <laughs> I think there's only orange pumpkin. Orange, black, orange, brown. Black. Green, brown. White, orange, yellow, yeah. Orange, yellow, white. White, orange, white. White, yellow, black, orange. White, <laughs> white yellow, orange. No, orange white, is in the orange, middle. White, orange, yellow. 
middle. No, yellow's in the middle. It's white. It's white, white orange, yellow. yellow. Yeah. White, I know. Yellow. Why you I know? Made him, I made him for <laughs> I didn't know all of that about Halloween. Yeah, there sure are some interesting facts in there. Tomorrow we have a segment about the haunted trails and fall fun day. Have a great day, Vikes.